Hey guys, this is Robbie's Reviews, and in today's video, I'm gonna be looking at some of the warmest parkas I can to use crates. So I have the Expedition, I'm wearing the Citadel, we have the Resolute jacket here, and then we have the Snow Mantra parka there. The Snow Mantra is technically the warmest, it retails for $1,500, and then it goes to Resolute, which is like, I think about $1,200, maybe $1,300 retail. Expedition's listed for like $1,000, and the Citadel is listed for $1,000 as well. So I'm going to kind of get into describing some of these jackets, some of the differences in them. I also am selling a lot of Canyon Sparkas. I'm selling like 95 different coats that are on my website, so be sure to check that out. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all the new Canyon Goose products. If you want to see reviews, I'm going to do reviews of North Face and other brands, but I mainly do a lot of Canyon Goose. All right, I'm going to start with a big kahuna here. This is the Snow Mantra. This thing is massive. So this is a large, um, but if you're looking to get any of the... <clears throat> Any size of Snow Mantra, be aware that they run two sizes up. This is true for the Resolute and the Expedition. So people that usually wear like a men's large um, find that the small and the Expedition fits them pretty well. And that's pretty much um, true for these Resolute and the Snow Mantra. They're made to be more of a relaxed fit because you can layer, you can layer a lot with them, and the more air pockets you have inside your jacket, the warmer you'll be. This thing has the most bells and whistles of all these other jackets. You have details that I'm not going to get into. I've done a review overview of the Snow Mantra. If you want to look at the specific details of that of this jacket, you should check that video out. But this jacket just has a crap ton of pockets. You've got Napoleon pockets, you've got ID badge pockets, you've got arm zipper pockets. You have these straps up here that can pull you up. They're meant for like pulling you up if you fall on the ice. So this thing is pretty heavy duty. All the Snow Mantras that I've ever come across have just massive coyote fur ruffs on them. So this one, as you can tell, this thing is like half a coyote here. Um, you've got this kind of chin guard, I think. You can put it over your face, it serves a protectant. You've got this other fleece chin guard there as well. I mean, this thing is loaded with stuff inside. Inside the jacket, you have a snow bib. Um, you've got a big candy goose patch there. You've got one of the arms. So on the back, you have something that looks like this. It's just a strap for holding the jacket. And the snow mantra will say snow mantra on it. This parka is overkill for anything besides, you know, being in the most extreme conditions like in Antarctica and just far up north in Canada when you're in like blizzard, potential blizzard or just extreme cold. Unless you're going for like a style, you just really like the the icon that it is. Um, you're not going to need this in anywhere really in the cities or in the states, maybe like northern Minnesota, North Dakota or something, Montana possibly but it's pretty much overkill for anything else. So the next up is Resolute. Now this thing is massive as well. Um, it's got a little bit less bells and whistles than the Snow Mantra Parka, but you still got a lot of these straps for holding stuff on them. You've got reflective strips, you've got ID patches, ID badges here. You know, if, when you fall and you drown in the ice, people can identify who you were if you have your ID on you, so that's nice. Fur rough on the Resolutes are also massive as well, as you can see here. So these things are um, not, there's not quite as much down if I'm just going to kind of eye it and feel the snow mantra in like one arm of the snow mantra, you probably have as much down as like a, I don't know, like a Columbia North Face puffer jacket. So there's a little less down in the Resolute, um, but it's still a mighty warm parka. Again, this is going to be overkill for a lot of, you know, just normal everyday wear, um, even in the north of the U.S. So only get this if you really think well in my opinion I think you really only need this if you're gonna be like driving and it's in extreme cold conditions and your car might break down and you're gonna be stuck in a blizzard or something really extreme you won't really need this for other purposes that reflective strip on the back here you got a large badge can use badge there um, and then you got the shoulder straps up here inside the jacket you got a large pocket there it's just kind of the less extreme version of maybe the snow mantra. Sorry guys, I am really hungry. So I'm just gonna eat some Cheez-Its. I have to work in like an hour and I have to make this video because I sold the snow mantra and I got shipped that out today, so sorry. All right, I'm ready. All right, so next up is Expedition Parka. The differences with the jacket is just, it's a little less extreme. You got less bell, bells and whistles on it. You still got lots of pockets. You got these two pockets here. You got hand-worn pockets underneath that. You got drop-down pockets. You got a pocket in the side of that. 
Inside the jacket, you have another snow bib. You have the large candy goose patch here. Um, and smaller, definitely a much smaller fur ruff. This fur ruff is not removable. Um, for the expedition, this is again is, in my opinion, like overkill for a lot of weather. This thing I can understand if you're in like northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, North Dakota, Montana, and you know, you just spend a lot of time outside, you're like, you know, snowmobiling. I can understand getting um, the expedition for those purposes. I still don't think this is a great barca for the city. It's just really heavy, it's really bulky, and it's overkill. But this is a really well designed jacket. It's one of the more famous Canada Goose jackets. Um, and I do recommend it for, you know, extreme activity outside. When you have a scarf and a hat on, the fur and the hood will keep you really warm. It'll really protect your face from the elements. All right, lastly is the Citadel jacket, the one I'm wearing. So the reason I included this is just because it's really similar to the Expedition. As you can tell, the front of it looks almost identical to the Expedition. This jacket, the differences between this jacket and the Expedition is just that it's actually made for people to live in the city a little bit more. So it's still pretty bulky and big, but it's a slimmer fit. So that's essentially the biggest difference between this and the and the Expedition is just um, it runs a little slimmer in the shoulders and your chest, and it's a little sleeker just because they figured they wanted to make an expedition like parka just for people that might not need the extra bulk. Um, so personally, I can't fit any size of the expedition. I'm like 140, 58. Even the extra small in the expedition on me just looks really massive. The Canada Goose Citadel Small fits me pretty well since it's a slim fit. I can fit the extra small just barely. If you if you really like the aesthetic of the expedition, but you live in a climate where you might not need it, or you just might need to find a jacket that fits you appropriately, the Citadel jacket will be a pretty good option in that. Like I said, it's essentially identical in a lot of other ways. Um, you got a drawstring here. You don't actually have the snow bib in the, ex the Citadel jackets. So if that's a feature you really like for some reason, you'll have to go with the Expedition. The, the jacket I'm wearing is kind of a rare edition. It's a sand, sand color. Um, it actually doesn't have a fur trim on it, which is kind of unusual. Most Citadels do have a fur trim on it. All right, sorry if that video was a little sloppy. I was in a rush and I'm really hungry. I gotta go to work in like 30 minutes. So. That has been the kind of overview of the some of the warmest Candy Goose parkas that are out there. The Snow Mantra, the Resolute Parka, the Expedition, and the Citadel I just included as a comparison to the Expedition. But there you have it. There's a few other really warm parkas like the Scresslet Parka and a few others I'm missing. But these are some of the he most heavy duty, warmest Candy Goose parkas out there. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I've done a more in-depth reviews of all these jackets, so if you want to know more about the details of the features and maybe my personal opinions about these things, check those videos out. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay warm.